Hi, welcome to LessonsWithTroy.com. I'm Troy Brenningmeyer. Well, this week's lesson is volume number five of my C6 Lap Steel Basics course. And in this one, we're going to be working with pinches and slants uh, using major chords. So major chord pinches and slants, and we're keeping it all in the key of C. And um, I want to make this uh, something that's not too overwhelming as far as the amount of information that I show you. So I'm sticking to two sets of strings. We'll be working off the third and the second string and also the fifth and the second string. So I've got a diagram here. So go ahead and print that out and you can kind of see what what this diagram looks like um, and kind of ignore the uh, what should be black as far as the fret markers there but I ran out of ink on the printer so it looks kind of pink or something. But anyways you can see these two note uh, pinches I call them and then on some of them you're actually going to be slanting your bar and we're going to get into into that technique too. So this is real nice because you can play chords um, all over the neck um, because you're just playing two note kind of partial chords in this lesson. So go ahead and print out your tablature too and this is what the tablature looks like. So we'll go ahead and print that out, and that's basically just what the diagram is, but it's, um, you know, in tablature form. So it'd be pretty easy for you to understand if you know how to how to read tablature. So if you're ready, go ahead and print out your diagram and your tablature, and we'll get going here, learning slants on the C6 lap steel. Let's get going. Okay, so I wanted to talk about the basic technique of slants. Now in this lesson, we're going to be using what's called a forward slant. Now the difference between a forward slant and a reverse slant is a forward slant, your bar is actually turning clockwise. You're turning it this way. So that would be a, a forward slant here. A reverse slant, your bar is going to be turning counterclockwise like that. So the technique for a slant is basically what I do. Here's you're holding your bar straight on the fret, let's say fifth fret. And let's say you wanted a slant, and I'll, I'll test out the uh, intonation and everything in just a second with a tuner. But as far as the technique goes, I just kind of push with my thumb, my bar under my middle finger and ring finger. So it's under under my, my middle finger and ring finger of my left hand. And that would be a, a forward slant. We're not going to be getting into reverse slants today, but basically the technique for that is I grab the end of my bar and I twist it like that. Some people move their whole hand like that. Um, so both ways are, are fine as long as you can play it in tune. So today we're working with the forward slant. So all of our pinches, when we do any slants today, we'll be using that pushing the thumb and the bar under my middle finger, ring finger, just like that and trying to keep those notes in tune. Okay, so we're on our fifth fret here, and I'm going to show you how to use this tuner to check your intonation of your slants. So let's start off first with a straight bar on our fifth fret, and we're going to be working off our third string and second string. And if you have your diagram, this is going to be the notes D and F, which are is a G7 chord, a little, the fifth and the flat seven of my G7 chord. And as far as my right hand goes, I'm just using my thumb and index finger or thumb and middle finger. And I'm going to use this tuner to play real slow and individually check the tuning of each note. Now, as you can tell, as those bars move, the slower they move, the closer to being in tune to that note you are. As, as they move quicker, that means you're, you're moving further away from being in tune to the note that you want to be on. So it's moving to the left, that means I'm a little flat, so I'll push it towards uh, towards my my pickup, you know, sharp it just a little bit. Okay, so there's the note D in tune. Okay, so that sounds good. Now I'm going to use pick blocking to block that out so I can pick my second string and test that tuning. Okay, D, and then F. Let me check my... So my A is just a little out. Let me tighten that up. Okay, let's check it again now. D, 
and F. So my bar is straight. So those notes are, are pretty in tune. So I'm just picking them individually at first, checking them with the tuner. Now I'm going to play them together. And that'll, that'll throw off the tuner. Okay, now we're going to do a slant now. Now we're going to do a forward slant. So take your bar and just push it underneath your middle finger and ring finger. And we're going to be on our third fret, third string, fourth fret, second string. Now let's get those notes individually with the tuner. That's the note C. A little sharp there. Let me bring it back. And you don't want to push too too hard on the string either because you'll you'll push it out of tune. You'll sharp it. So just a real just tilt your bar up at first. Get that note in tune. And memorize it. It's pretty close. And then the note E. And for right now I'm getting it as close to the tuner as I can, but normally when you're playing a C note to an E note, that E might want to be a little bit flat in relation to the tuner because it blends a little bit better with the root note C. That's that's the uh, root and a major third of a C chord. So now what I'm going to do, let me test that again. Memorize these notes. There we go. Okay, now I've got that memorized in my head. Now I'm going to put my bar in the slant position, that forward slant position, and now try to test the, the tuning with the tuner again. Once, Make sure you got, you're got you muting out all the other strings and each note you pick block, um, you know, so it's not ringing out. So there's C, that's pretty close in tune. And then E's a little flat, C. And e. So that should sound pretty good. Now once you get one of these slants in tune, so like I said, that it's going to take some finagling. You might want to flat that E just a little bit to let it blend with that C. But once you get it, you can put some vibrato on it and make it come to life there. So there's using a tuner, and you know, that takes a lot of practice, and just go with it real slow. Now what you can do is you can slide into that slant. So let's start, let's start with this, this uh, straight bar on our fifth fret here for that G7 pinch on my third and second string. And I'm just going to slide it into the, the C, and your ear should kind of tell you when that's in tune. So once you think it's in tune, now test it with your with the tuner. So it's not not terribly bad there. But that's a great exercise in doing slants, is starting with something that you know is in tune with a straight bar. And then, then sliding into that, and it gives you kind of that pedal steel sound anyways. Now, when you're when you're messing up around this part of the neck because the frets are a little wider, um, it, you can get that that sound there because being on the edge of your bar. So watch that. Try to try to get it to where you, you avoid those buzzes. You don't want to be on the edge edge of the the bar. You want to be making good contact with the string with the bar. So have if you got a little clip tuner, you can check your intonation there. But I suggest to start off with a straight bar and then just practice sliding in. And then when you think it's in tune, then play each note individually to test your, your ear, see how close you are. So here we go. Here's D and F's in tune. So that's not too bad. So there's a real good way of using the tuner and, um, 
and a straight bar and really working with a good good slant technique that we'll be working with throughout this lesson. So let's go ahead and check out the, uh, the tablature and we'll move on through this lesson.